in the little boxes here. All right. You can do magic, and that's what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about you doing magic, creating magic in your life. Thank you, Coach McGregy, for kicking things off for us today. I got it. I love that song. I love the message of that song. And it really suits us today for what we're talking about today. So today's session, we're the fourth session of creating your own economy. Are you excited about today? Type in the chat box. Let us know that you are excited. We are at the final day, fourth day of our four day event. Yippee. <laughs> I love that. Yes, always. Woohoo. All right, here's what I'd like for you to all do. I'm loving the enthusiasm here. Indeed, says Luna. I like that. All right, beautiful as always, Edwin. Beautiful attitudes, isn't this great? Okay, here's what I'd like for all of you to do. I'd like you to raise your arms like in a V, like victory pose. And let's get a snapshot of this. Can Vladdy or Roddy or Nick, can you, and then anyone that doesn't have your camera open right now, open up your camera. Let's get a snapshot of, Everyone, there we go. Vladdy's getting it for us. There we are. Everyone up with a big V. All right. So we are victorious, right? You're feeling the energy. You've created your own economy. You're living your dream life. Everything is magnificent. It feels so good, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Do you realize that by just simply moving your body like that, that what you did was you created a different feeling inside your physical body, you released endorphins. Now, did that experience of raising your arms in the air cause you to feel better? Did it? Just type in the, the chat box if that caused you to feel better. Oh, thank you, Nicoletta. That's very sweet of you to say. Yes, definitely, says Carol Elliott. Steven says, winner. Yep. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> a good stretch as well. Feels amazing, says Christine Lee. Yes, 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 yes. Smiled all the way through it, says Paul. I love that. Okay. We, says Diane. Absolutely victorious, says Alice. Wonderful. Oh, thank you, Luna. What a sweet thing to say. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What I did there and what we did there was one simple thing that everyone can do to put you into a better feel good state. But today we're talking about living from your goal or living from your dream life. Now, how do you live from your dream life and why would you want to live from your dream life? So let's dive into that a little bit deeper. I'm going to start with the why before we go to the how. Now, the why you would do it is because this is how you manifest. You manifest based on what you're feeling and what you're giving your conscious attention to, what you're thinking. So when you're holding your arms up in the air in a V state like this, in this position, it causes you to feel good and causes you to think far more abundantly, far more vibrantly, far more clear with greater creativity as well. And so you can do that and in an instant, it can cause you to feel better or to feel in alignment. So why you would do it is to get in alignment. And the way that you manifest is really quite simple, really simple. So after the 40 plus years of studying this, what I've discovered is what you're thinking and what you're feeling is definitely going to be based on what you attract back into your life. Simple, right? Yes, it's very simple. The challenge is you're very likely not to be conditioned that way right now. Therefore, you have to establish new patterns, patterns of thoughts, patterns of feelings. Now, this is where we get into the how, and that's what we're going to talk about today. How do you do it? Well, we did talk about it yesterday as well, because we we're talking about building your belief and building your faith. And how you do it is by acting as if you already have that which you desire in your life. Now, this is simple. You can do it with all of the goals that you've set for yourself, or you could do it with one main goal that you've set for yourself. And how you do it is throughout the entire day. So you wake up in the morning and you wake up in the morning. And as soon as you're aware that you're awake and you're consciously starting to think, you're starting to think from the outcome, which means that if you knew 
that your goal or goals have already been manifested, what would you be thinking? How would you be thinking? You'd probably wake up feeling like, wow, I am so grateful for my incredible life. I am living the most amazing life. And what I do is I start thinking about what I'm grateful for. And so I grab my gratitude journal. And then when you put your feet on the floor, assuming you've just slept in a bed, when you put your feet on the floor, you put your feet on the floor and you put yourself into the energetic state of knowing you're the person who has accomplished the goals that you set for yourself. So you would stand with pride. You stand with energy. You stand feeling so good. And as you go about your day, doing all the things that you're doing throughout your day, you're thinking from a perspective of you're the person who's accomplished these goals. And so all of your thoughts would be in harmony with that. I'll give you an example. I was just uh, cleaning up an area of my office that I set up the other day. There's a credenza just across from my desk here. And on my credenza, I had set up this little shrine, if you will, for savvy wisdom. So I had my Oscar there. I had the book there. I had the handkerchief. I had a mug. I had uh, a pen, sticky notes. And what else did I have over there? I have the globe of the world. And so all of those things are on this, this little shrine. And so one of the things that was there was a personalized license plate that I bought for my vehicle. And the personalized plate says savvy wisdom. And I bought it to put on my vehicle, obviously. So in Ontario, we can order personalized plates. They cost a few hundred dollars and then they deliver them to the mail. And then when you get them, you have to go to the Ministry of Transportation, one of their offices, they call them Service Ontario. And you can exchange the plates that are on your car, which I actually have personalized plates on there now, but you can exchange the plates that are on the car with the, with the new plates. And because Ontario has been in what they call, I think they're calling it a stay at home order. So no one's supposed to go out. We're all supposed to stay home. I just haven't bothered to go get my new plates put on the car because it didn't seem essential or didn't seem like a, an urgent thing to do. But in my Power Life script, I talk about the, the plate, the Savvy Wisdom plate being on my vehicle and that people are recognizing, oh my goodness, there's the, there's the author of Savvy Wisdom, just like it would be for J.K. Rowling, who, who lives, I don't even know where she lives right now. Uh, Mick probably knows where she lives. But anyways, it'd be just like J.K. Rowling, that wherever she is, you know, I'm sure wherever she goes, people recognize her, right? Because she's so famous and she's so popular and so in my mind not the same as JK Rowling but a similar experience where people are going to identify my vehicle because they see savvy wisdom on the plate or I imagine people having conversations in cars as my vehicle passes them and they're saying I wonder if that's the author of that book savvy wisdom that's the you know the the top book on the on the New York Times bestseller chart and that book that was made into a movie and and won the Oscar. And, and so this is going on in my imagination. So as I was just cleaning things up over there and I was putting the license plate away, I was thinking this needs to go on my car. And I believe the Service Ontario offices are open even though we're in this stay at home order or stay at, stay at home you know, uh, demand right now or, or situation here in Ontario, but I'm pretty sure those offices are open and I could very likely go there and just get the plate put on my car. So let's get this, you know, get this done. And also as I, you know, got up today to go get more water from the kitchen or whatever, and I'm thinking about one of the other properties that we're going to be buying and that it's, that it's on the water. And as I'm walking back from our kitchen, because I absolutely love our home. I love the quality of our home. And as I was walking past, I looked out the window and I didn't see, you know, the front lawn. What I saw was water. You know, I saw water everywhere. So this is how you do it. You live in your imagination. You're living in your imagination all day long. And the language that's coming out of your mouth is only in harmony with that with the results that you desire. So you wouldn't be saying things like you're in a slump or this just doesn't work for me or it's not happening or why isn't it happening or things. Those kinds of words, those kinds of sentences or questions would never, ever, ever come out of the mouth of someone who has already accomplished the goal. 
So you've got to really pay attention to what's going on as you're saying things to others or as you're saying them to yourself, right? You say these things to yourself. What are you doing? It's, it's what's called a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? You just keep repeating the same things over and over again because you're giving it attention. You're giving attention to what's not working. You're giving attention to why things haven't happened the way you want them to happen. And it's really challenging because you're, you're in a world of pretend, really. This is really what it is. And earlier when we started the call and Coach McGregor was playing that song about magic, America's song of magic, it reminded me of that, that statement that says, magic is the opposite of life. With magic, when you know how it works, the magic begins. But with life, when you know how it works, the magic wait a minute, with magic, when you know how it works, the, the magic disappears. With life, when you know how it works, the magic begins. And so if I did a magic trick for you and then I told you how I did it, you would know how I did it. So it's no longer magic. And that's the point of that comment. But with life, when you get it working for you, when you understand these materials and you recognize the power that's within you, you're gonna find that you're gonna be manifesting anything and everything. And it doesn't matter whether you want to manifest a soulmate or whether you want to manifest a new vehicle or whether you want to manifest a dream home or whether you want to manifest a successful business or whether you want to manifest money in the bank or whether you want to want to manifest multiple dream homes all over the world. It doesn't matter what you want to manifest. There's no limit. There's no limit to what you can do. There's no limit to what you can have. There's no limit to what you can be. There's no limit to what you can experience. You just have to decide what it is that you want and name it and claim it as we were talking about the other day. you got to know, know that it is already yours. Now, in the beginning, you probably won't know that it's already yours. This takes time. It takes time and it takes discipline and it certainly takes a lot of practice. You want to be doing this. And when I say this, I'm talking about the work that we're, we're been covering off here the last few days and what we do inside our programs is what the destiny coaches do every day. That's why I believe this is the greatest opportunity there ever was, because when you're involved in the materials every single day, that means your consciousness is getting that attention. And when you're the one who is the source of or guiding people through it, through our programs, what that also does is it puts you, you've got to be a great example of this. And I'm not saying it's an absolute must because you're, you're basically, Destiny Coaches are going to be teaching my stuff. But understanding it is really important. Now, if you want the magic in your life, then you implement as well. Because when you're implementing and you're just choosing to get better and better and better and better and better every single day, what you're going to find is that your life gets better and better and better and better every single day. And you never stop. And that's why Anna had asked that question yesterday. Why do you still do this after all these years? It's like, well, I still drink as well. I've drank a lot of water, you know, over the years. I have eaten a lot of food over the years, but it doesn't stop me because if I do, I'll die. If I stop drinking water and I stop eating food, I will die. That's the way it works. And the same thing with your dreams. They will die if you're not feeding them or fueling them every single day. And the gift that you've been given is the gift of choice. You can choose what your dreams are. And it's not anyone that's going to judge you for them. You get to choose what you would love. You get to choose what you're going to manifest. And then once you've chosen it, then the real work begins. And the real work really involves you getting in alignment, like I'm talking about today, and you're thinking only as if your goals have already been manifested, and you're thinking about that every single day. So we created this event called Create Your Own Economy. And on our very first day, we're talking about what does that really mean for you? And we heard different things, mostly time and money freedom, which it definitely does. And that was our intention to help you experience time and money freedom. That's what we're here for, is to help you experience time and money freedom. And then the next day, or was it the first day or the second day? Anyways, one of the two days or one of the three days that we've gone past, I also asked you to get clarity around what that is. What does your economy look like? 
So how much money are you earning? What do you have in the bank? What's your net worth? You know, what are your revenue goals? If you're an entrepreneur and all of these things, and it doesn't have to be one of those or, or all of those, it could be something else. But what is it, what does it mean for you to be living a blissful life, a completely abundant life? And you declared that. You got clarity around that. So when you know, now this, I, I worded this question very specifically, when you know that you're living that life, and you see something, maybe it's something for sale, or you happen to glance and notice an incredible looking vehicle go by, the way that you would have been previously conditioned to think is, oh, I wish I could do that. Oh, I'd really love to go there. Oh, I just got an email from the airlines announcing a big sale. It would be so wonderful to, to travel. And, but you know, I just can't like notice, notice your response your reaction to everything that's going on around you. If you're thinking of, you see somebody with something or you see something, an ad or whatever, and you think, oh, I'd really love to have that. But stop yourself. Because when you are the person who is truly living as if, and that's what we're talking about today, the livingness, when you are that person who is really genuinely living as if, you wouldn't be having thoughts of, you can't afford that, or I'm holding on tight to that little bit of money that I have left because I'm thinking there's not going to be any more. That is a lack of mentality. And frankly, what you've declared as your goal, what we talked about a couple of days ago, when you get there, you're simply going to set another goal. That's what happens. It's very natural. There's a natural part of you that's going to desire more. It's the way we're all wired. It's the way we've been previously programmed. It's a natural desire of the father. You're going to feel the desire for more. And it's not saying you're not satisfied or you're not grateful or you're not appreciative. It's not saying that at all. It's just you're honoring that gift within you. And, and more doesn't necessarily mean more money. It could be more fun. It could be more laughter. It could be more love. It could be more experiences, wonderful experiences. It could be more bliss. It could be more calm. It could be more of anything and everything. And there's no limit. And it just because you're, we're thinking of having things like bliss or calm or joy in our life doesn't mean money can't be a part of that either. Now, so many people have really negative, destructive beliefs around money that don't serve them, that don't serve them. Where do they get it? Well, we talked about that yesterday. Those beliefs started when they were young. I mean, I was raised in a poor environment, a poor household. I mean, if I said something to my parents that I wanted something, and I was the fourth child of four, if I said to my parents, you know, I'd really love to have a new dress. I mean, I got screamed at. Who do you think you are? I think money grows on trees. And, and I mean, that kind of response will scare the pantyhose off you. I mean, you won't want to ask for anything else, right? And if, and if you ask for something else that you don't dare ask, because it's like, who do you think you are? I think I'm a child of God. I think I can have whatever I want because, you know, as a, as a child, we don't understand that until we're told, until we're conditioned that way through repetitive patterns. But the great news is you can change it. I'm living proof that you can change it. It's going to take some effort. It's definitely going to require you to be disciplined. And of course, you're here for that understanding, for that knowledge. But where you can really take quantum leaps in your life is by committing to this, committing to this as a study and by disciplining yourself that you're going to be doing this work. Like when we're talking about living this, living from your goal, this is daily work. It's not a once in a while work, it's every day. You wanna get into the habit and you can develop the habit. You wanna get into the habit that every day when you wake up, you're waking up and if you haven't instantly shifted your focus over to you living your dream life in the now, do it right away. And you may want to put a reminder beside your bed that says, okay, now that I'm living my amazing dream life, or now that all my goals are fulfilled, how do I feel? Put something there to remind you. I put reminders on my ceiling, like staple them, you know, right to my ceiling or put them right beside the bed or put them on my nightstand, put them there to remind you, put these messages there. And it doesn't even matter if they're written on a little index card of some sort or you have some fancy signs made made up that you have beside you, which, you know, I do all of those things. It doesn't matter. I have stickies on my bathroom mirror and I still do it to this day. Why? Because I'm growing. 
I'm growing, always growing in consciousness. I'm growing in awareness and the results continue to get better and better and better. And I suspect that's really what you would love to experience as well. Am I right on that? Am I accurate? Type in the little uh, chat box, Mark, Mark, yes, it does. Not everyone has clarity and awareness to see the money trees. Yeah, you know, I was talking to a neighbor yesterday and last year on Bob Proctor's birthday, I actually uh, brought him a money tree. I'm gonna see if I can find the photo to uh, show you the money tree that I bought for him. And he really loved it. And of course, Bob turned 86 on his last birthday. He'll be 87 on his next birthday. And, you know, he's the guy that has everything. So it can be a challenge to figure out what to get Bob Proctor for his birthday. So I came up with this idea for a money tree. And I'm just going to show it to you. And I'm going to share my screen here. And here's the photo of me and Bob Proctor with the money tree that I had made for him. And I used Canadian dollar bills because they're colorful. And, uh, and there's a thousand dollars in this little money tree, actually. It doesn't look like, look like much, but they're made into flowers, little dollars that are made into flowers. And I brought that to Bob. Well, he loved it. He thought that was such a, a cool idea to have a money tree. And, uh, and, oh, I had that dress on yesterday. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's, you know, he laughed because, you know, he understands these materials as well, but does money grow on trees? Well, some people think that it does. It does grow on tree, but if you believe, or trees, but if you really believe and when you believe that there's an abundance of all things in the world, you'll start to see it. You'll start to notice money is absolutely everywhere. So I'm gonna shift over now to a uh, PowerPoint presentation that I've prepared for you. And then we're gonna open it up for questions as well. Now, for some strange reason, my cursor is gone. You ever have that happen? Hmm. Okay. Let's see if this is gonna work. That is so weird. Okay, my cursor is gonzo. There it is, it's back. Well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> cursor. It's so much easier with you here with us. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this, you know, create your own economy was really designed to have you shift your mind over to a place of opportunity and abundance as well to see things a little differently. And I know a number of you have been in my programs before or are already in the programs that I've been delivering. And of course, very much like you, this is where I was attending events over and over and over again, sometimes the same events over and over again, until it became such, such a part of me as part of the consciousness so that you're not only understanding, but you're acting as well. So we're really here talking about endless opportunities for you. And every day I feel is a new opportunity. It's like a gift we've been given. We woke up this morning, you got a choice. You get to choose. You get to choose every minute of every day what you're going to create. Now, a lot of people are not even consciously choosing and they're creating more of the same results that they don't want. But you're more aware than that. And I really believe that there's still time to change the road you're on. And you can make a decision today that can change the trajectory of your life for the better. And I know I've had a number of experiences in my life where I've made decisions that have changed the trajectory of my life for the better. And one of them was when I was offered to attend a series of workshops. And it was at a time when I had a whole bunch of debt. And you heard Vladdy talk about her own story on Monday. She had a very similar experience, all consumed in debt. I was all consumed in debt, but I had a desire for different results. So I invested in myself. That was a day that ch everything changed. Still time to change the road you're on. I changed my life. There have been other times in my life I shared with you the belief that I had about not feeling worthy of love. That was a day that really changed everything for me forever. When I first became an author and didn't know what was required to promote a book or make a book a bestseller, when I learned and started to applying, that changed everything. When I made a decision to incorporate my business and do the work that I'm doing, that changed my, my life forever. But what I want you to know and understand is that when you make decisions to change, they can feel scary. Not always. Sometimes it's just sheer excitement. 
Sometimes it's, it's the knowing that this is a great decision and you're going down the right road in the right direction. But there are other times when, and I know I've had this experience where I've made a decision to do something and it was a leap or a, you know an investment, a significant financial investment, and then got to a point of starting to feel that terror barrier and thinking, okay, I know what that is. Like when you're feeling the fear, it's simply the paradigm trying to hold you back. And when you know that and understand it, then you know how to deal with it as well when it occurs. So that if it shows up, it's like, okay, that's the paradigm trying to keep me stuck where I am now. And that is not my desire. I have no desire to stay and keep creating more of the same. It's time to step out and you make a decision. And remember what I said on the first day, you do not have to know how, you just have to make a decision. The universe is gonna figure it out. When you're really committed to your outcome, the universe is gonna figure it out. But your responsibility is to make the decision and to be in alignment, knowing that the outcome is already here. So there's, and there's no limit to what you can earn. And we'll, we'll share with you an opportunity for you to become a destiny coach. It's not for everyone and not everyone is going to be a great match for this. We also have an opportunity for you to just go into skipping levels, which is our quantum leap program. And there's no limit to what you can earn in there either. You know, this morning I was on, on a call with a good friend of mine that I met a number of years ago at an event where I was speaking and she actually had to sell her car in order to get into business to become a coach or a consultant. And that's Kim Calvert. And Kim has gone on to create phenomenal success. She's a young, lovely, lovely person. She lives in Ireland and she has gone on to create phenomenal success. She was telling me that just in one week this year, she generated $2 million. And it's not even her program. She didn't even develop the program. There's no limit to what Kim can earn this year. There's no limit to what I can earn this year. There's no limit to what you can earn this year, next year, or whatever. And when we think about how we're connecting today, I mean, the World Wide Web opened up back in 1995. And I was there right in the beginning when it first opened up. I worked for the very first internet service provider that was offering dedicated service for individuals that wanted to establish websites online. And I started marketing online. I put my own website up well over 20 years ago. But here's what I've come to know. People are hungry all over the world. I'm not talking about hungry for food, although that's there too. They're hungry for knowledge. They're hungry for wisdom. They're hungry for understanding. They're hungry for guidance. People want help. And I believe that today, the way the world is in today, the shape that the world is in today, there's a greater need for it now more than ever. And the blessing of all of this is that you can connect to anyone anywhere. We've got people on our calls that are connecting from all over the world, no matter what time zone. People sometimes get up in the middle of the night, like Coach McGregor, to be on our calls. He's part of, he is a destiny coach, but he's also part of skipping levels. And when we have, we chain, we alternate the time of our skipping levels calls, but they're every second week or every second call, we'll have a, a skipping levels call and it'll be at nine in the morning. Well, he's in Hawaii and that's five, sometimes six hours difference between where we are. And so it's the middle of the night. He's getting up. Why? Because he's demonstrating he's serious about success. There are other people in the world that are like that too. And there's no borders. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter where your clients live. You can operate a business from anywhere. And it can be a business unlike a store that, that you know, could be open a certain number of hours. Your business can literally be open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm not saying you have to work 24 hours a day or seven days a week, but your business can be working for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that is absolutely true. Also think about how accepting people are nowadays to buy online. When I first established my shopping cart back in around the year 2000, 2001, I actually hired a programmer to design my shopping cart. We made it secure. So the transactions were all secure, but people were hesitant to take their credit card and put it into a shopping cart online. They were afraid, you know, that their credit card was going to be 
exposed and that there, someone was going to steal their identity and, you know, fear like that was going on online. Now people don't even think about it. You buy your groceries online, you can buy your underwear online. And nowadays people are, especially in Ontario, because nothing's open <laughs> right now. But what's happening is when we look at this market, this market, I'm talking about the marketplace online, it really is a trillion dollar industry. And there are a lot of people in the world that are still continuing to be frustrated, continuing to not enjoy the, the results that they're experiencing in their life or lack of results, are frustrated because they don't have enough money or finances or whatever. And the opportunity is available for them too. This isn't an isolated experience. Anybody can, can do what we're talking about here. My belief is you can fog a mirror and you have the desire to do it. You can absolutely do this. And then there's other people that are struggling and thinking it's hard and I don't know where to go and I don't know how to start and I don't know what to do first and what do I do next and what do I do after that and oh, I don't have anything to offer anyways and all kinds of other negativity that they get all consumed in and all that is is destructive. It does not serve you. It does not help you. You want to take those kinds of ideas and throw them in the garbage. But I'm here to tell you that struggle is not necessary. As a matter of fact, struggle is counter-effective it'll cause you to destroy results. It certainly won't help in any way whatsoever. Now you saw this slide yesterday too. We had it in our, our presentation on beliefs and faith that if you really want your results to change, you must change, but I can help you. I can help you and we're ready to help you because if you can dream that life, which you did on the second day of create your own economy, if you can dream, which you can, what you would really love to be experiencing, whether it's, you know, abundantly wealthy lifestyle, traveling first class, buying what you want, when you want, having multiple homes, donating to charities that you deeply care about, helping your loved ones, like, oh my goodness, that's a wonderful, wonderful experience. And just looking in your bank account and seeing the funds in your bank account and just feeling that great sense of, ah, feels good. Because if you can dream it, whatever the dream is, whatever it is, you can certainly do it. And as Martin Luther Jr., King Jr. said, you take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. You just take the first step. This can be a challenge for people who want to have it all figured out all the way. Now, the advantage that we have with Destiny Coaches is we can show you the steps along the way. When you're going for a goal, especially one that really excites you, maybe scares you at the same time, you won't know what to do. That's just part of the process. You won't know what to do. But here's the good news. You don't have to know what to do. You're going to figure it out along the way. Because when you're in alignment, like genuinely and truly in alignment, you're going to see the way and you're going to attract to you everything requisite for the fulfillment of your desire, as Napoleon Hill has said in Think and Grow Rich. Now, he studied over 500 of the most successful people on the planet. I mean, he worked with Andrew Carnegie, the richest man in the world at the time. This is not something that's that's was working way back when and it no longer. This is the same, same principle. What are we really talking about? We're talking about you getting the right mindset, the mindset for success and then following through with what's necessary in a way that's not complicated, that doesn't have you going in loops and turns and backwards motion, but an easy way that really is a proven way. And I say proven because I've been doing this work for 26 years now. I've been marketing online since 1995. That's 26 years. I've actually been in business almost 27 years. I incorporated the year before the World Wide Web went live. And so we're here to help you experience it the easy way. And I don't think, I don't know of a better way to do it than by allowing us to give you that guidance, to show you the way to help you set yourself up for success so that you're helping others create success as well. Because in our business at Dynamic Destinies, between me and my team, we've got Roddy, we have Vladdy, we have Mick, our goal is your success. That's why we're here. That's what gets us up in the morning. It's what keeps us going every day. We're doing events often. We're doing these live events. We're having meetings beyond. How can we get to serve you even better? Because our goal is your success. 
That's why we're here. So if you're interested, have a desire to have a business where you can be operating from anywhere, anytime, and, uh, and serve anyone to an industry that is, I think it's still untapped. There's over 4 billion people online. Just imagine if you had a small fraction of those as your clients, right? It's a trillion dollar industry. That's what we're really talking about. But when you stop and think, like really think, how can this positively impact your life? It can impact your life in so many wonderful ways. If I think back to how it's impacted my life, it's impacted my life in every way. I was upside down financially. I was going through health challenges, relationship challenges. I was in a career that I did not like. And now I'm living this blissful millionaire lifestyle that married to my soulmate, wonderful relationships. I've never felt better. I feel so energetic. I know Bob's often talking about his age and he's 87 on his next birthday and says he has more energy than those 30 year olds. He's right. I've seen him. I've seen him go. And I know I have a tremendous amount of energy and I'm in my 60s. But it's not only that, it's how you feel. I've been at that point where I sat on a park bench trying to think about how am I going to end it? I was miserable, cried myself to sleep, not once, night after night after night after night, thinking that I was destined to live this miserable life, crying out to God going, why me? I don't know if you've ever been there, but it is not a fun place to be. Only to realize that I was creating, I was sabotaging my own results. But it can positively change your life. I love helping others. I love doing the work that I'm doing. Love donating to people. Love helping my family. And you're going to find that it's going to positively impact your life. But it's not just a matter of thinking about it. You got to move into action. You've got to be a doer. It's like the Quakers have a, a quote that says, I pray and move my feet. So prayer to me should be prayers of thanks. And moving your feet is the action. What is the action? We're, we've been talking about action. Becoming a destiny coach is action. And then following through on the learning is action. You're here taking action. But to me, this is a no-brainer decision. No-brainer decision. This is already set up for you. There's no better way for you to help yourself than to help others. Because that's really what you're doing. And there's no better time than now to cash in on this opportunity because we've made this available for you. Now we have the registration set up right now for Destiny Coaches. The link will be in the, in the box there. You can go and get yourself registered if you're the kind of person that makes decisions quickly. And that's what successful people do. You can just go and get signed up. Or if you'd like to meet with Vladdy and Mick or Mick or both of them <laughs> and have a conversation about whether this is the right fit for you, certainly do that. They'll be able to give you that guidance as well. But where we all are right now, it's the digital age. The, the pandemic has really demonstrated that and made that a lot more obvious than it's ever been. And that's good news for you. It's good news because more and more people are eager and they understand that learning can take place right on a device, whether it's an iPad or a tablet or a phone of some sort or a laptop or desktop computer. Either way, we are now in the digital age where you can have a laptop or a tablet and you can run a business. And that's it. That's all you need to get started. There's even places where you can get free websites, put a free website where people can sign up with you. You can set up PayPal accounts. Like it's so easy to do nowadays than it's ever been. Not complicated. Doesn't have to be technical either. So the secret way to really create your own economy, to live your dreams, to achieve all of your dreams is to help other people succeed. You know, many years ago when I was such a serious, I'm still a serious student, but I would go and see every single speaker, Jim Rohn, I was at his events, Zig Ziglar, Dennis Waitley, and Wayne Dyer. I mean, I was going to all the events many, many years ago, every single event that was put on, I was there attending and taking notes and following through and 
Zig Ziglar used to say that if you want to if you want to succeed, help another succeed. But it wasn't only Zig; they all said it in the same way. Bob Proctor talks about this all the time. I listen to Napoleon Hill on my iPhone, or I listen to uh, to Earl Nightingale. They all say the same thing. You want to succeed, help other people succeed, and we can help you with that as well. But let me tell you right now, to create wealth, like create your own economy, grow a business, or live a millionaire lifestyle without a clearly defined vision or goal or shift from that old way of thinking the old paradigms into the new way or having an idea that people would love and benefit from which we've already done for you and a proven step-by-step -step system that's easy to follow which we've also created and an experienced mentor who not only knows what to do but can show you how to create success this is where i come in and my team is infinitely harder and simply won't work it won't i see people out there they're struggling they're wasting time and they're wasting money and they're sitting there frustrated. And so what you really want to do, and this is where everything changed for me, is when I got myself a mentor, when I decided to follow someone who I knew could blaze the trail for me, who's already been there, done that. They've created the results because they can help you. They're offering you a hand up. So you need to just copy and paste what someone else has done so there's less guesswork, but not only so there's less guesswork, so there's a, no longer a waste of time or a waste of money. So we can help you with a plan, the tools, and the guidance, and we can show you the easy way. Or you can take the hard way, totally up to you. I much prefer the easy way, and that's what we really offer for our Destiny Coaches. Now, I know any time I've ever done anything in my life, in my career, that has felt uncomfortable from deciding to start a business, from getting out there and starting to coach people, from standing on stage, from doing, you know, camera work, videos, media, and things like that. It didn't all feel like, woohoo, let's go, you know, smooth sailing all the way. I was terrified in some cases. Vladdy and I were having a, a conversation this morning about her being on stage. Once we get back to, a normal again, or a way of, of being where we can have live events again. And I was talking to Vladdy about seeing her on stage. She was talking about her fear of public speaking, her, you know, her fear of getting on stage. That's a common one. Many people have that fear, but great things don't come or never came from comfort zones. So when you stretch yourself to get on stage, I've had that. Nowadays, it doesn't doesn't concern me whatsoever. But in the past, I used to be standing backstage and I could hear the announcer getting ready to invite to to uh, bring me on stage. And I was just thinking that I you know, like I need a, a, a garbage can. I'm going to be sick right now. and I'm looking for the exit signs that I'm I'm having this conversation in my head. What am I doing here? Da, da, and then realizing what was going on and just stepping out you know, stepping into a calm, you know, talking, talking myself down by giving myself better affirmations. And then, but that was, you know, that was really because I was outside of my comfort zones, you know, working with my first clients, you know, was outside of my comfort zones, delivering workshops was outside of my comfort zones, but I did it anyway. Because when you step forward into growth, that's where the, where the prizes are. That's where you win. That's where you experience a greater and greater growth is by stepping forward in spite of feeling the fear. You go for it anyway, and you become, you become so much more as a result. Yeah, it might feel uncomfortable in the beginning. I remember one time we were doing an event and one of my business partner's wife came to speak at the event. I'd never seen her speak. I knew her and had had lunch with her before. I'd never seen her speak and she got on stage she did a phenomenal job and I was pleasantly surprised. And she came off the stage and sat down beside me. And I said to her, you are an incredible speaker. How did you get to be so good? And she said, practice just by getting up in front of audiences, practice. And of course, following mentors. I've had some of the best speaker trainers in the world that have helped me. In the beginning, I remember hearing my heart pounding out of my chest as I was about to go on stage or open up a, you know, actually it was long before Zoom rooms. Nowadays, I get excited. I have no fear now, absolutely none. I can't wait to open up the room and get started. But it wasn't always like that. It wasn't like that. 
but it is now. And now it's like, give me a microphone, give me a camera, I'm ready for them. So I believe you're here. We're on the fourth day of our event. You're ready for the next step because I believe that it doesn't stop here. You don't stop with the learning. And I know that's not who you are either. It really is a beginning. It's a beginning step. So if there's something about what we've been talking about here and offering for you to join us in our organization, and you'd like to take a look at that, great. We would love to meet with you. We would love to show you what we have that's available for you to truly create your own economy, because I believe now is the time to do it. It's absolutely the time to do it. Okay, we're going to open up right now for any questions that you may have. I wasn't seeing the comments on the right hand side there as they were going on, but I know there's a number of them that have been coming through. And I know Roddy's been collecting. Well, look at that, Roddy. You've already gathered four questions for me. Thank you so much. But I see Sarah's hand has been up for a while. And I am going to invite Sarah into the spotlight. Let's add Sarah to the spotlight. There she is. Hopefully the internet's going to be working fabulously today, Sarah. Can you unmute your line for me? Yeah. <laughs> there she is. There you go. Can you hear me? We can. Okay. Thank you, Peggy. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a, a, a little bit snotty, as we say here in Wales, <laughs> with a cold. So excuse me that I'm, I'm rubbing my nose. Um, it was just a really quick one around the visualization of your goal. Um, and and you, you talked us through that perfectly. So thank you for that. But um, I've just been thinking about um, Neville Goddard. I think it's um, how to manifest your desires that I, I, I've listened to on Audible a number of times. And he talks about keeping it really simple um, to like, for example, say it was a new job and your image would be somebody shaking your hands and congratulating you on getting the new job. And that would be it. And you would just visualize that over and over again, just that simple act. Yeah. So my question is, you, you know, should we keep it simple to just one concise, succinct image? Or as you explained, imagine how your life could be generally. I think that's why I get a little bit muddled. And okay. then I'm off tangents okay good good this is a really good question a really good question sarah thank you so much for asking okay does, does everyone understand the question this is a really good one i'm so glad that you asked so sarah's saying that neville goddard talks about creating one event which depicts that you've accomplished that which you desire right and what i'm saying is you could create multiple events so let's think about why is it even suggested to do that the why it's suggested to do that is to create what? Emotional response, right? Alignment. The idea behind it is, yeah, to feel it. That's right. To feel as what Gregory is doing that. To feel it. To feel as if it's here right now in your life. You feel in your heart and, and you're thinking from that place. So if one event, and that could be shaking hands and congratulations, Sarah Morgan, you are a destiny coach, or I'm presenting you with your certificate or whatever, like if that's the event that's occurring for you, then and that causes you because we're in control of how we feel. And by you doing that, it causes you to feel it's already done, then do that. However, if another event could occur. For example, you look at your bank account, you see your bank statement, and you see all these funds in there. And that's another event that demonstrates that you are a successful destiny coach, that it's, yeah. it's not it's not uh, conflicting. The, the okay. ultimate the ultimate outcome that you're looking to create is a feeling state that's in alignment with your desire. That's the ultimate outcome. How you do it doesn't matter. And they all say that. Ernest Holmes says that. They all say that. it doesn't matter what method. And same thing in Key to Yourself by this Venice Bloodworth person. I've been reading that book this week. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It's not at the doingness. It's not that you're doing the one thing. All that matters is are you feeling the end result? So if I look at my Oscar and I feel the success of Savvy Wisdom, if I think about my license plate for Savvy Wisdom. If I look at my New York Times bestseller list and see Savvy Wisdom there, if I look at the emblem that's on the cover of Savvy Wisdom and that, all the same outcome, all the same outcome. Every one of those things, I just mentioned four things, 
all of them produce the same thing, a feeling state of knowing that my outcome is already done. I see. Thank you, Peggy. I, yeah, that, that makes sense. I've made lots lots of notes there because I think that's I was getting myself confused and then losing clarity because I was thinking oh oh I should think of that or, or no I should think of that so yeah that that makes sense thank you you're very, very quickly before you go you were talking about your um number plate on your car yeah. this is my yeah. uh my screensaver on my phone I don't know if you can see it actually I put it to the camera. camera there we go oh your Jaguar F-Pace but the num maybe you can't see the number plate, but I've I've put the put my own number plate on there, which is oh, um, AFR 127. And it's uh, my daughter and grandchildren's initials and the the dates of birth all amalgamated into one. But um, oh, yeah, I've sort of proposed that. So that's my screensaver. But there you go. But thank you so much, Peggy, for letting You're me very on. Welcome. And, uh, I appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody who's here. Thank you. Yeah, I did the same thing. And Sarah, did you ever see the picture of the uh, Jaguar F type convertible? Did I show you the Pegs Jag plate that I put on that? I had the Pegs Jag plate before I had the car. Right. I ordered, well, I, I thought ordered the license plate for the for the car yeah. before I had it. I also, before we water, bought a waterfront place, I ordered a sign that said "Parking for Pegs Benz" because I drive Mercedes. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> See, you order, you order stuff in advance. Like yeah. I, I have a, a whole section where I have all of our cottage stuff, like cottage materials. I bought some things for my son last year for Christmas. Well, I bought a lot of things for my son last year for Christmas. But <laughs> a couple of the things that I bought him, one was a kayak and another one was, um, it was uh, like a big uh, iron pot for cooking outside. And uh, he, he already had one and he already had, he actually already had the pot. I didn't know he had the pot. And he said, we don't need the kayak. And so I said, well, because he said, you can return them. And I said to my husband, I'm just going to keep them for our place. And he's like, what, what are you talking about? Our place? We don't have the place because we had sold the previous place. Right. And I said, well, we're getting another one and I'm saving it for it. So I already have those too. So what, what you're doing is you're acting as if, right? Like, yes, you can create the visuals. You can also collect like people that are looking to attract their soulmate. I say, make room in your closet, like create a section in your closet or drawers where there's room for them or the bathroom, right? If you really yeah. want to have someone in your life and you want to attract your soulmate into your life, then make room for them. Boom. All right. Perfect. Thanks, Thank Sarah. you, Peggy. You're very welcome. All right, we are going over to Ria, and then I'll go to the questions that have been submitted in advance. So Ria, I'm going to bring you into the spotlight. There you are. Hello there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the four days. It's amazing. And uh, yes, I um, I want to know something more about uh, to be a destinate uh, coach. I had already in, uh, a conversation with uh, Mick um, I want to know if you are going to start with a group and then go through the whole process or can you jump in later or how do you do that? Because at the moment I'm still in a coaching a program here in France and it's going to finish at the end of uh, July, August. Okay. So I'm afraid that when I'm going to start with you that I'm not spending 100% on one and 100% on the other. So that's why I like to know how, how are you going to do it? Okay, great question, Ria. Thank you so much. Are you interested in being a destiny coach? Is that, is that what you're saying yes. you'd like to? Okay, yes. Good. Yes. Uh, well, what we, you can join anytime. You can literally join anytime. We are gonna be raising the registration though. So that sometimes causes people to, because it's brand new and we've just launched it, we created an, uh, like an early bird pricing, but we are changing the pricing. Um, in the near future, definitely will be before the end of August and, and very likely it's going to be sometime in June. So we're, you know, we're coming up to that point again. But the thing is the you can, and a lot of people are doing this that are either um, working already. So they're doing it part time or they're diving into it full time, but you can work at your own pace. You can work at whatever pace you want. You can take it a little bit. Like some people are joining it 
And what they're doing is they're diving into the materials that are being coached from, which is what I recommend actually. And so they're studying the Destiny Key program. They're studying the Money Marathon program and they're getting intimately familiar with it in their own lives because they uh, they plan on coaching from either one either one of those programs i was actually on the on a call this morning with one of our destiny coaches and her area of focus is going to be in the area of the money marathon because she me too. Said, yeah you too and and so she loves that idea she loves the program loves the teachings and wants to help other people with prosperity consciousness because it's a, a real issue and so we were chatting about that this morning. I have another uh, Destiny coach who is a graduate from the author program and has written books. And her area of focus is going to be in coaching authors, because as a Destiny coach, you can, if you graduated from the author program, you can coach other authors using the complete author program. And mm -hmm. so she's doing that too. And um, I do the program with you. Yeah. Because I, uh, I wrote my book. Yeah. Now it has to be added and, and translated because it's in Dutch. <laughs> right. Well, you can do the same thing. You could you could coach authors as well if you want. And the nice thing is it's it's like you have an option. It's kind of like what you have in your briefcase. If we think back to the old days when we used to go sell, you know, with a briefcase, you open up your briefcase, you've got the money marathon, you have the destiny key, or you mm -hmm. have the complete author. For you, you'd have the complete author program as well. And another thing that like a trend that's gone on just within the last year is more and more and more people are wanting to write books. It's, it's like they, there was, a, I think so. yeah, like 82% of Americans want to write a book and they haven't all done it yet, but they need guidance, right? They don't have the guidance. Mm. So I, yeah. I really believe it's perfect timing for that too. And I don't know of other coaching programs that have what we have to offer with the, the complete author program and the money marathon end. The destiny key like i don't know any others maybe there are i'm just not aware of it and so i think yeah. that's one of our our strengths it is definitely one of yeah. our strengths. but i'm not looking at others i want just to work yeah. with the best perfect i love that i love your attitude we'd love to work with you and nick can help you in any way that you want he can get you enrolled if you want when you're ready and um and, but we'd love to have you and i think you'd be a great fit okay Thank you very much. Thank you. Oopsie, pushing the wrong buttons there. Okay. All right, now we're gonna head over to the questions that Roddy has been very kindly placing for me over on the uh, WhatsApp. Okay, it's from Jacqueline. She says, I'm experiencing a domestic situation and have been for some time. I don't have any idea how this will be settled. It's really difficult to keep positive suggestions. All right, I've been in domestic situations before too. I'm not sure what you're doing. <laughs> Greggy's nodding his head as well. And it definitely can be challenging. Um, and as you know, and I share it openly, I went through a divorce as well. And I was talking with, uh, I think it was Vladdy this morning when we were on a call and I was telling her that um, my ex-husband wasn't into any of these materials whatsoever. And neither is my existing husband. And, uh, but that's fine. My first husband used to criticize the materials. And I wasn't really fond of that. It didn't really matter what he thought because I'm in control of what I think. My new husband does not, well, I call him a new husband. We've been together over 16 years, but he's still like my new husband. And uh, he doesn't criticize this. And why would he? <laughs> Look at the way he lives, <laughs> right? He lives a pretty amazing life. And I think it'd be quite foolish if he did criticize it. But I, I know how uh, challenging that can be. And what I would do is, and the, the first thing that comes to my mind is, Jacqueline, you're not alone. <laughs> there are a lot of other people that are out there as well. And what you may uh, decide to do is help the other people that are in troubling relationships um, since you're experiencing, and I don't even know what your situation is, but whatever you're experiencing, know there's other people that are experiencing it as well. And this is something that some of the destiny coaches are doing is they're focusing on areas that they've personally gone through to help other people go through it as well. And I, I've shared stories about my husband, Denny, and he knows it. He's been in the room when I've been on stage and talking about how, you know, decided to buy a home. It was a million more than the one that we previously had. And he was like, where's the money gonna come from? And, and you know, he asked from a place of concern Right. And I said, wherever it is now, but that answer doesn't fly with him. <laughs> it's, it's not something that he felt comfortable with at all. You know, there's a lot of discomfort with that. 
but I didn't allow his energy or his belief to impact me. And it, I wasn't rude to him or disrespectful. It's just, I'm not letting it in. And so you're in charge of what you're going to let in or not let in. I remember Wayne Dyer telling the story about being on a flight one time and everyone had boarded the plane. And I'm sure Mick can relate to this as well. Everyone had boarded the plane. They were delayed. They were supposed to take off and they're sitting on the plane and there was a problem with the plane and they weren't able to start the air conditioning system. And so people were getting hot. They didn't know if they were going to be leaving soon. So they weren't serving any drinks or anything because they're, you know, they're getting ready to take off and people were starting to mumble and complain and moan. And they sat there for quite a while. And then the pilot came on and said, well, I'm sorry, folks, but you're going to have to disembark. You're going to have to get out the plane. We're going to have to get another one. We're not fixing this one. And, and the flight attendant was uh, standing beside Wayne Dyer and she went like, oh my goodness. And he said, what? And, and she said, oh, I'm going to have to listen to like 240 people walk off this plane complaining. And he said to her, you don't have to take it in. You don't have to take any of it in. Just imagine that your uniform is a, is a shield. And just imagine that those comments are just going to bounce off the shield and they're not going to affect you and just smile and wish them a, a great day or, you know, acknowledge them or whatever as they're leaving, but don't let it in. And this was something that she had never even considered before and never even thought of before. And that part of her role as a flight attendant often bothered her because, you know, these people were, they would take out their anger or frustration on her. It had nothing to do with her. She had over no, no control. And frankly, if you're on an airplane that has a bobo, you don't want to fly anyways, right? <laughs> like, why would you want to get in air and fly in an airplane that's not working properly? You want to respect that decision, right? And that's the same thing, Jacqueline. Just don't let it in. Just don't let it in. Sometimes this ends up being more of a reason to actually dive even further into the material so that you just strengthen yourself. You build your own emotional muscles and just not allow any of that in. You could use it as an example. In my very first book on being the creator of your destiny, I told the story of a cleaning lady that I had. I had this cleaning lady, she was a lovely woman. Her name is Pierrette. And she used to come to our home and we had her cleaning our home for at least 20 years. And we moved away so she couldn't clean anymore. And Pierrette was just, just a ball of energy. She always had a smile on her face. She was just, just a beautiful soul. And I loved her. Like she became like part of the family. And uh, I didn't really know her husband very well. And uh, I remember one time I asked her about him and I said, tell me about your husband. And cause they had three sons and and she said, well, he's, he's a very miserable man. I said, what do you mean? She goes, well, he's negative. He's complaining. He's moaning. He's just gr grumpy, like that movie, Grumpy Old Men. That's the way he is every single day. And I said, wow, I'm surprised that you're the way you are and he's the way he is and you're a couple and you're together. And I said, how do you do that? How do you sleep in the same bed with somebody who's so miserable when you're so positive? And she said, I allow his behavior to be an example of what I'm not going to be like. And that's what she said. So she looked at a, you know, a challenging situation and found the positive in the experience. So she allows her husband's behavior of being miserable and grumpy and whatever to be an example of how not to be. <laughs> and so that's, that's what you can do as well, Jacqueline. All right, Joanna is saying, what do you suggest we do when an actual event happens, but your manifestation isn't here yet? So as an example, where my goal is to earn and invest a certain amount of money and an opportunity came up, but I didn't yet have the amount, even though I'm living as if I have it now. Should I say I don't have it? No, don't say you don't have it. You've got to live from the end. You've got to imagine that you have it right now. Now you're going to have this imagination in your own consciousness. You want to feel as if. The, the challenge that many, many, many people have is this gestation period. How long it takes for a goal to manifest in a physical form is one of the greatest challenges of all time. And many people just get frustrated because they think, oh, it's not working. I know I've been there. I've had the same experience, but it's just the matter of time. Now, there's a great story in uh, Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich, about three feet from gold. And the story you may be familiar with is about a guy who owned a, uh, some land where they anticipated there would be gold in this land. And so they bought equipment, they started mining and they didn't really know what they were doing. 
and didn't strike gold. So the owner got frustrated and sold the land and sold all the equipment. And the man that bought it didn't know anything about mining either, but he consulted someone who did and brought an expert in to really evaluate the property that he got for really, really inexpensive price. And so what they discovered was that they had stopped mining. The previous owner and his team had stopped mining when they were only three feet from gold. So that story is told, it's told over and over again. And it's an example. It's also like a metaphor. I'm not even sure if the story's true. I suppose it is, but think about it. Most people stop when they're just about to break through or break free. They stop, they give up, never give up, never, ever, ever, ever give up. I wrote a book about that called Be a Dog with a Bone, because I know that for me, this is why things really started to positively change. It's determination. You must have determination. You must be persistent and not give up. All right, let's go to the next question here. Uh, Chai says, can you explain the difference between skipping levels and destiny coaches? How long does it take to become a coach? All right, great question. How long it takes as soon as you register, you're a coach. All right, you become certified when you bring in a client, but you're, you're a coach. Now, what we do with destiny coaches is they get to be a part of skipping levels. So skipping levels is a six month intensive program for anyone that wants to experience a quantum leap. So you want to you know, really make an impact on your results. And we're going to be working together. We have three calls a month and there's laser coaching, there's uh, teaching, there's mastermind calls, plus all of the other content that's been created inside skipping levels, all of the valuable trainings, the resources, the tools, it's all a part of the skipping levels program. But what we decided to do was to allow all of the destiny coaches to also go through skipping levels because not only are the destiny coaches going to be out there, you know, building their own business and being a coach using our programs and being a success, but we want to help them too experience their quantum leaps. And that's why we made it a part of uh, destiny coaches. But skipping levels is an independent program. We do have some people that are in skipping levels that are not coaches. They may have another career, they may be doing other things, but they want to have a quantum leap. And so skipping levels registration is definitely available to anyone that would love to experience a quantum leap. And then destiny coaches will invite, uh, we offer that they get to be a part of, uh, of skipping levels as well. Yeah, thanks, Carol. <laughs> Thanks, Carol says it's an amazing program. Okay, and our next question is Natalie. When you go to look for loan for money to invest in yourself or ask family member to assist you and they all say, no, you have no job and you dream of what you want, how do you keep your mindset that though nothing has gone right, it still can? You cannot think anything negative. So you're uh, like, I can tell there's like conflicting words in your question as an example. So for example, if you're saying you have no job, don't look at what you don't have. Don't look at what's not there because the way is there. The solution is there. You've got to get in harmony with it. You got to get in harmony with the outcome. So what we've been talking about the last four days, what we've been talking about today is really about you getting in harmony with the outcome that you desire because when you are and you've suspended any disbelief and you realize you don't have to know how because you do not have to know how and you're really focused and you're using your imagination on a daily basis to feel the gratitude or feel the joy that you've already accomplished that which you desire you're going to attract it you will now as bob often says if someone has to come here from china to, to, you know, to help you, that'll happen. You don't have to know how you have to decide what it is you want. You have to feel as if it's here right now. And you have to stay in that energy. It's not complicated. It really isn't complicated, but the challenge that so many people have is that they're programmed a certain way. It's the paradigms that try and pull you back. You've got to change them. And you change them, we talked about this yesterday, through space-time repetition of a new idea. And this is why it's such a valuable place to be as a destiny coach, because you're going to be guiding other people through this. You're going to be hearing it. You're going to be studying the materials as well with them. 
and coaching them. And this just continues to strengthen it for you. And the more you help another, the more you're going to help yourself as well. All right. Okay. Are there any other questions, Roddy? I think we've covered them all off. I just want to double check here because we're going to wrap everything up right now. Yes, just the name skipping levels means I can make quantum leaps. Yes, you're absolutely right. Christine Lee says, invest in you and your dream. And that's what Christine does. It's the urgency life task. This is the end life. It's only once, not a thousand years. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Christine. You know, when I think about that, you know, I was, I have a, some pictures over there on my credenza of my father, my mother, my two brothers, my sister and I. And I was, you know, looking at it the other day and I was thinking half of them are gone. My parents have died. My brother died. My brother was 49 when he passed away. It's young, too young. And I look at that picture and I think, wow, how things change and how they can change so quickly. And we really don't know how much time we have. That is one thing we don't know. We don't know how much time we have. Now, I'm not being morbid or anything like that. I'm just saying that, you know, I really believe that when you recognize the value of life, and you just decide, I am going to make the most of it. Like really choose to live my dream life, like now, not sometime in the future, like right now, because you don't know. My husband and I were sitting up by the pool the other night, we're talking about his father and Denny's father had passed away when he was 61, Denny's 61. And he's thinking about, wow, you know, Hard to believe, you know, at the time when he was younger, you know, his father passed away, he was 61. It seemed like, you know, he's old, <laughs> but it's not when you get there, right? And of course, your mind doesn't know how old you are either. And so, you know, I really, uh, I really agree with you, Christine. I love that you wrote that there. You're absolutely right. This is a, a gift we've been given. Every day is a gift. Like if you wake up, you wake up and, and I remember, I don't know which speaker it was, it might have been. Mark Victor Hansen or Jim Rohn, one of those guys used to say, if you wake up and you look in the obituary and your name's not there, then make it the best day of your life, right? Or I also heard that if you wake up and if your name isn't on the Forbes, you know, richest person in the world list, then get to work, <laughs> you know, either way, there every day is a brand new opportunity. And we created this event for you to help you understand how you can absolutely control your life, you can control your destiny, you can certainly control your own economy as well. But as you can hear, and you very likely understand now, if it is to be, it is up to me, not me, Peggy McCall, but it's up to you. It's up to you whether you choose to do something about it today. And we we hope that you do. We'd love to help you. We'd love to work with you. Vladdy and Mick are both very happy to get on calls with you. Even if you're thinking, I'm not sure this is right for me or whatever, get on a call with them. And if you want another call with them, maybe you've already had a call and you wanna get back on, they're happy to get back on another call with you. I know Vladdy sometimes when she's talking to people, she'll, she'll talk to different people and they'll be like, oh, I'm totally ready. And they just like make the decision and off they go and they're in. And others, you know, they wanna gather a little bit more information, but either way, we're, uh, we're ready for you to join. And thank you, Carol. Carol says, Co Destiny Coaches is an amazing tribe. Come join us and help transform the world. Thank you, Carol. I really appreciate you as well. You're very kind on that. I'm really working so much that I want my first step to take care of everything else like dominoes. And that's what happens, Keith. You're absolutely right. And thank you. So, Neke, I really appreciate you. The uh, links are in the right-hand side to book an appointment with uh, Vladdy or Mick. Someone had actually sent me an email today and said that they were watching the replay. And because I had mentioned the, um, the chat box, um, they're not seeing the chat box in the replay. So it, when you're interested in booking an appointment with Vladdy or Mick, just go to the front page of PeggyMcCall.com and just go down the page. You'll see their beautiful pictures there and there's a button there and you can certainly book an appointment with them directly from our site as well. Or you can email support at PeggyMcCall.com. Roddy takes those messages and he can direct you as well and uh, get you going in the right uh, winning direction. So my pleasure to serve you again. Time flies when you're having a blast and that's what I've been having here. I'm really grateful for all of you. Thank you for being here. And I look forward to serving uh, many of you in even greater ways into the future. 
So let's unmute the line. I'm going to hit unmute. I'll allow all, and you can all say goodbye, and we can make lots of noise <laughs> for our Facebook friends. So if you want to unmute your line and say goodbye, that'd be great. Bye. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Yeah, Bye. 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 B